जयनिकाय गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिका वैश्वालय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सदभक्ताय नमो नम सिंहासनगता नित्यम पद्मास्तक शुभदास्त सदा देवी स्कंदमात मध्ये वितंते भक्ति समावर्तस्वी यहाँ वंदे श्री मदन गोपाल शुभ नवरात्रि शुभ महापंचमी हम समस्त बांगाली बंधु बंधु हैप्पी नवरात्रि टू एवरी वन May this nine is nine is festival brings you a new light, new happiness, new joy. Today is the fifth fifth day of Navratri, and for that for this day, the fifth manifestation of Devi Durga is worship. And she is Skanda Mata. Skanda means Kartikeya, Kumara Kartikeya, mother of Kumara Kartikeya Skanda Mata. Skanda Mata portrays in her form. She has four arms, three eyes, and very bright complexion. She is holding Skanda by one hand on her lap. By two hand, she is holding lotus, and by her fourth hand, and it is left side, she is blessing to. All her, her sadhakas, devotees, all of us worship. Skandama. She is also known as Padmasana because she is rides, she is riding a lion, and on the lion there is one lotus, and she is sitting. On the lotus, on a lion. By her form, by her deity, Devi Skanda Mata, it's taking all our fear because the lion it shows the power and fearlessness. It evokes the power and fearlessness. So Devi, by her mercy, her form is the form of peace, salvation, prosperity. She is always blessings to all her followers, all her worshippers, to bring happiness for their life. Fight against the trouble, difficulties in their life, and the form of Devi Skanda Mata is uh, symbolizing motherhood, symbolizing communications. How mother and child, that relation, it's very deep. So she holds her child Kartikeya on her lap, and she's holding it by her hand. So that means protecting that relation, and that Skanda Mata she's holding Kartikeya in his infant form, infant, very childhood. 
So how when mother is taking care of their infant child? Because that time, the child, they're just emotion. So emotion, sir, that mother, they're taking care very nicely with their hundred percent intuition, with their hundred percent sincerity. So Skanda Mata, the form of Skanda Mata symbolizing that care, that mother, how mother is taking care of the infant child. So we are also in, in front of mother. In front of mother, child, maybe they grew up very big. Then also, they are always an infant child in front of their parents. The parents, they always, they can love in their way. They can chastise, they can control to their children, always in their way. Children, they are responsible to follow. They can respect their parents. So that's why Skandamata she is also taking care to her worshiper, who is respecting Skandamata, who is worshiping that means offering puja, offering respect to Skandamata. Skandamata brings some light and knowledge. How the knowledge will start of one child from their mother's life. So mother, Skanda Mata also bring us knowledge, prosperity, uh, happiness, uh, joy, even we are in this material world. If we worship, if we respect Skanda Mata, the fifth form of Durga, so we can get that uh, eternal grace, eternal happiness, even we are in this natural world. So, it's very important for us, it's very important for us to respect her. 100% for that taking care, how the mother is taking care uh, of the infant child. There is a very interesting story about this form of Skanda Mata. After Sati, the first wife of Lord Shiva, immolated herself in the sacrificial fire, so Shiva was really detached by her separation since Siva was isolated himself and he started a great penance Austria as an ascetic ascetic as an ascetic as a Vairagi as a sannyasi he started a great penance and he isolated, completely isolated himself. So, Shiva was really detached from this worldly affairs. At the same time, the Devatas were in Swarga Loka. They were attacked by the demons, great demons. Great demons, Tarukasura, were being led led by led by Tarukasura, and that Tarukasura, he had a boon from Lord Brahma. He placed Lord Brahma by her great austerities, great tapasya, great penance. He placed Brahma, and when Brahma appeared in front of him. He asked immortality. So Brahma said, no, 
You should not cross your limit. You should not cross the rules of the creation. You should ask another boom, which I can give you. So dark as you do. And he asked, okay, then give me a suspense of boom that I will be killed only by Shiva or his offsprings. So Tarkas, right, he know this trolls that now Shiva will never come back. Because now he's in separation mood of his wife and he started a never ending penance. He isolated himself completely. So Takashu has agreed because he know that Shiva will never get, never have any options. So he was agreed. Okay. So Brahma, he gave this boon that he only killed by Shiva or his offspring. So that Takashu, that time, he attacked the temples, the Deva. In Swadha. And all the devatas, they know this story that he had such power from Lord Brahma. So they rushed to Lord Vishnu because Shiva was not there. He was in his deep meditation, deep penance. So they rushed to Lord Vishnu for help. But Lord Vishnu said, no, you have to solve that problem by yourself. Because it's happened, that situation, that situation come because of you. You are responsible, all the devatas are responsible for this, that, this situation. Why Shiva is now uh, in uh, his great penance? Because he is in separation from his wife. Had all the devatas, they attended the great yakyas of Yaksha Daksha Prajapati or not Sati to offer herself, herself, immolate herself, herself in this sacrificial fire. They went there without Lord Shiva, that Daksha Prajapati's yagya, and in Without Lord Shiva, who is known as Yakeshwara. So, when Daksha Prajapati, he insulted Lord Shiva in front of all devils, all the devatas, all the devils. And devatas, they were really shut their mouth. They never refused. They never say anything about this. They never remind Daksha Prajapati to stop. So Sati, she humiliated herself. That's why Shiva now in, her, in his great penance. So you have to solve this problem. But the Devata, after the from the herd to Lord Vishnu, then Lord Vishnu said, okay, I can show you the path, I can show you the way, how Shiva will get his offsprings, you know, Sati, after simulated, again she revered as daughter of mountains, king of the mountains, Himal, and she is Parvati. If Sar Parvati follows a great penance, then again Shiva will relent. Again Shiva will agree to marry her. But that is very great austerity. 
only by the great posterity's great benefits. Now, I showed the way. Now we have to do some anything. We have to do something to organize the marriage of Lord Shiva and Parvati. So what they should do on the Devakas? They approached Devashinara instead of them. They said to Devashinara, you have to do this. So Devashinara, he had a visit to Devi Parvati and he approached if she observe her great penance, then she will get her husband back to her. So Parvati was agreed to do this. And she performed her great penance. So by this thousand year of observing penance of Devi Parvati, they were villains and married. So again, Shiva entered in his family life because of her penance, not for the Devakas, because of her penance. So when they married, Shiva and Parvati's energy combines and produce a seed. And you know, Agni. Agni was entrusted carrying that seed to the lake of Sarvana forest. Until till that time, that seed becomes the offspring of Shiva. That seed was so powerful, so hidden. It was even unbearable for Agni. So he handed over this. He handed over this to Riva Ganga, Ma Ganga. And Ma Ganga, she safely carries this to the lake, to that of Sarvana forest. It was also unbearable because that is nothing, that is not ordinary seed, not a seed of a tree of plants. It was the energy of Shiva. Only Parvati is capable to bear this, carry this. So Parvati, Devi Parvati, she transformed, she manifest her waterfall and she carried it. So then that seed become the offspring of Shiva. It is also known from different scriptures that uh, six boy was appeared. From that seed, six boy was appeared and that six boy were taken care of by six criticals. And when the combines this six boy together, then it becomes this six boy is one boy, but different six pest. It was six pest. When that boy he born as a six pest boy, and he was taken care by the criticals, so he named as Kartike. He got this name from Kit Kritikas, the mothers, six mothers. And then that boy started to grow up. He was a very beautiful. Still, he is also worshipped. Kumara Kartik is also worshipped in South India as a Murugan. He is a very beautiful boy, you, young. That's why he known also as Kumar. Also, it is known that uh, Kartika also worship for get beauty for the young people. 
So another name of Kartikeya is Kumara. In South India, you can see if they are worshipping Kumara Kartikeya, named Murugan. The son of Devi Parvati, Devi Durga. So when she was going up, she was taught by Brahma. taught by Brahma, but once he asked to Brahma the meaning of Omkara, Pranava. And Brahma, he described the meaning of Omkara by 12,000 verses. But still, he was not satisfied. By this meaning, explained by Brahma, then he asked to his father, Lord Shiva, and then he described, Shiva described about Pranava, about Okara, by 12 lakhs, 1200,000 verses. But you know, then also Katika was not satisfied. Then he described, he described the meaning of Omkara. You know how much verses? By this, how much uh, verses he described, this, uh, explained the meaning of Omkara? It was 120 million verses, 12 crore. By the 12 crore verses, he explained the meaning of Omkara Pranam. So then she was appointed, she was uh, accepted by the all devotees as a chief of commander of their army, army of devotees, Swarga Loka. And in the great battle, Kartikeya, he killed, he killed Tarkasu. For what she was invited? For what? He took her as a son of Devi Parvati Devadita. So, by worshipping of Skanda Mata, it is automatically is worshipping of Skanda. That means Parakartiki. So, when God will worship Skanda Mata, at the same time he is worshipping Kumarakartiki. So she will worship Skandamata, but she will get blessings from both of them. From Skanda and his mother, Devi Parvati. And in that form, Devi is taking care of all her worshippers as an infant child, very careful mother. So the devotees should pray and worship Devi Skandamata because we really need that caring. How one mother is taking care of the infant child, of her infant child. And we are always infant. We are always ignorant. We are always doing so many mistakes like the boy, the just born, the infant babies. Because they are putting their hand in the fire. Because they don't have any knowledge about fire. So we are also doing this. Offenses. All the offenses, it's like a fire. And we are so ignoring, we are putting our hand in that fire of offenses. Maybe it's got the water. So we'll take care of it. When will go to there, near to that fire of offenses, so we soon take care of them. Soon save us from that fire, from the fire of sin, from the fire of offenses, from the fire of ignorance. Because only by the ignorance we have done so many mistakes in our life. 
also friends worship Skandamata and get her care hundred percent like a infant child. She's there to protect us. Devi Skandamata is there to take care of us like an infant child. Just for baby, how one mother is taking care of her baby, just born baby, how she is feeding, how she is taking care from the all bad energies, bad influences. So Devi Skandamata will take care of us in that way. So devotees respect, worship and offer you pranam to Skandamata and pray her caring for your life. So happy Navratri. We'll meet you tomorrow. Cut time. Tomorrow we'll listen about the sixth form. About six form, six manifestations of Devi. So I pray to Devi Skandamata O Devi. Please take care of us, everyone, because we are all an infant baby of you. We can do so many mistakes. We can do so many offenses. But it's considered as an infant baby. Please take care of us. And send us the new light, happiness, and take care of us. Like how do you take care of your baby, mother country? So happy Navratri, Shubo Mahapanchami to all my friends, to our Shomust Bangali, Bhutu Bhutu Bangali, Shubhanu Thay Jaraj, Tadesh Shomu ke our Shubo Durga Panchami, Mahapanchami, Shubhecha Janai, Guru Jamne Ramar Pranam Janai, and Chhoto Janai Jai Bo, Jai Nita.